Hello, my name is Andy and I am the Village Idiot. I'm armed with a car and a GoPro and an unhealthy amount of time on my hands. And today I'm having to start in the shadow of the uh, church here in this village because it's quite windy and um, I don't want the GoPro audio to pick up the wind and not my voice. Now the church behind me, it's got quite a tall tower. I'm gonna have a proper look at this in a moment. And this is in one of the biggest parishes in Doncaster. Welcome to the parish of Rossington. Para 
Now, those of you who might remember all the way back to the Lubbersall video will remember the Amazon buildings, which I tried to capture at the very end of that by going down Lubbersall car <laughs> down a very bumpy road. So this is West End Lane and those Amazon buildings are that way, right at the end of West End Lane. And I've just come past the Miner's Welfare and uh, there's a, a building here which is called the iPort Academy, which I assume is some kind of training centre for Amazon because those buildings are known as the iPort. So it would make sense if uh, that's some kind of um, training facility for Amazon.
So I'm at the very end of West End Lane and until very recently, this was blocked off. There used to be a big barrier here and you couldn't go any further. But uh, now this road links Rossington to not only Amazon, but of course the M18 and the Great Yorkshire Way, which had been built recently too. And apparently some new property has been constructed as well here. Rossington locals um, need a little bit of uh, information if you will indulge me. I'm stood on Grange Road and I'm about to go that way past Jade Garden and up this street here. Now it's a long time since I've been to Rossington. There used to be a water tower around here somewhere. I distinctly remember it but I can't see it anywhere so whether or not it's been pulled down or something I don't know. Um, what's happened to it because I can't seem to see it anywhere. <laughs> And my memory is not that bad, but uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was around here. So yeah, let me know if it still is and I just can't see it or if it's been demolished.
so it's not actually a parish notice board this is the Brodsworth Pavilion notice board uh, but it's the best I can do I haven't actually seen a parish notice board here um, so this is where one of these is gonna have to go right there in the corner Okay, we're just about round Rossington. I've just decided to take a perch in this bus stop um, for a few minutes because I want to talk about something. Um, so with Rossington's size, I've decided there's some things I just cannot fit into this video. Otherwise it would be, it would be at least an hour long. One of those things is Rossington Academy, which is a secondary school. Um, and you'll find that towards the southern end of the village. I've opted to omit that. Um, but the other thing that I've uh, omitted from the video, and it falls within the parish boundaries, is the National Horse Racing College. Now it's private property anyway, and I wouldn't be able to film it no matter what. It's on the Great North Road. Parking outside is obviously impossible. And I'm not allowed to walk in there and just film it because like I said, it's private property. But what I'll do now uh, is after this shot in the video that you're currently watching, I will add um, a little uh, montage of some pictures I can find and some information about the Horse Racing College. Okay, so I'm back at the church where we started and that is Rossington in a nutshell very 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 big very big I've done a lot of walking I must have walked at least four miles around this place but it's so big it's uh, it's it's grown exponentially 
since it first was settled and these days I think it's Doncaster's biggest parish although I'll have to check that uh, in terms of population anyway I think it's Doncaster's biggest so there we are that has been the parish of Rossington and I've been the village idiot and I'm out